What's up, guys? Ethan from OK Adventure here. We're on a property right now where I grew up when I was a kid. Uh, this has a lot of livestock running around it. This is actually a cow trail we're standing on right now. So I'm going to set these up up above high. I went and found 11, 9. I found 9 buckets the other day when we were cruising around. And we I set up three of them with the new experiment modification set up with three with the hole up top, three with the hole down below, and three with the hole on the complete bottom. We're going to set up about four traps here on this property. It's about 600 acres where I grew up. We'll set up another four along the road. These traps are about two hours from the house. I probably won't be able to check these, but probably once every month, and month and a half. I'll set them up. Guys, we need to start a hashtag. Hashtag bee bucket. Every time you catch a swarm in this bee bucket, I want to see a hashtag bee bucket if you post it anywhere on social media. So I can follow how many swarms are being caught in my bee buckets. My The design from you guys building them. I want to see how many are caught in these. Hashtag bee bucket every time you catch a swarm. Guys, this is the original one from the video. If you guys seen the video of the, the bee bucket, my original, this is the original one right here on the homeland where I grew up. Grab a toddler. Hashtag bee bucket. Don't forget. Okay. Yeah, they're all up in here. Yep. All up. yep. There it is, guys. It's a good way to indicate if there's hives in the area. Go to uh, whatever's flowering and see if you see any bees flying around. Right now, we're over here by some blackberry bushes, and there is tons. There's tons of bees flying in here. And I'm, I'm setting my swarm traps up periodically across this property. Hopefully we'll catch some. Oh. Freaking easiest things to set up. Even a three year old could set these up. Huh. I love this stuff. It's a great design. Fling it on an old peepo. Hey guys, check out this bee bucket. This one was completely broke all the way around, completely snapped. Went ahead and duct taped it, duct taped it around to hold it together. It's pretty solid now. I'm gonna set this one out. Even if they're broke, you can still use them. Rock and roll. Well, one gallon. See if it works. Oh, my 
how big of a swarm we're gonna catch with that. We might have to bring another bucket to rake them all in when we take them home. <laughs> we set this one on the ground. Again, this one's completely shattered, broken. I uh, put it back together with duct tape all along the seams. Found this one in a dump pile down on the side of the road. We're gonna set this one on the ground, see if we catch these. traps today there's a total of 16 traps in total did a lot more of these was it two on the ground traps we tried a little mini one gallon trap I'm not sure will that one even work I'm not even sure these on the ground work we're experimenting this is a complete experiment this would be the second time we've put out some experimental traps total of 16 I got four more at the house to put out Let's see if they work Everything will be in the conclusion video. I'll probably do a couple more of these videos Just so you guys get a feel of what I have out in the field and then on the conclusion video We'll see a total of what worked all together and I'll probably remake my swarm trap video to fit the conclusion So whatever the conclusion is we may completely adapt these new traps like this on the ground We may adapt the traps in the trees one gallons might work, but I'll put that all in a new video. All the videos of the Swarm Trap series will be down in the description and links. You can go click on all those links and go watch all those videos. Get out there and start an adventure. Boom, baby! Alright, let's rock.